Uh, I actually can't remember the last time I came on here and had something good to say. I actually don't. The Flyers get shut out in Boston. They lose 3 to nothing, and this game absolutely sucked. Now, to start it off in the first period, it was very slow. It was very boring. There was really no flow to this game at all, and that's good for the Flyers. The first period ends 0-0. That is a moral victory for the Philadelphia Flyers. You take that on the road. The Bruins couldn't get really anything going. Neither could the Flyers, but that's fine when you're in, a, in an away building trying to get some, some type of rhythm in a hockey game. That's fine. You take that. And then you move into the second. Around the 10, 11 minute mark into this period, that's when it all started to flow. The Flyers took advantage. They were really pounding it. They had some big time scoring opportunities. Claude Giroux on like a mini breakaway. He couldn't score. It kind of looked like he whiffed. I don't know if he was trying to go five hole or, or what was the case. He also had a one-timer opportunity where Halak made an outstanding save. There was a two-on-one for the Bruins, and Scott Lawton gets back stick lifts. It was a tremendous back check by his part. Brian Elliott was making some saves at this point. And then, and then Chara scores. So after two big key opportunities for the Flyers to score, we don't cash in on them. Who would have thought? And then the Bruins score just like that. Then it's not over. It's not over. A too many men on the on the ice call. Too many men. That's a mental error. That's an that's an unexcusable error by the Flyers. And and what do you know? They score on it. They just allowed the brush to just stand there wide open in the uh, pretty much right in front of the blue paint on the PK. We gave them too many power play opportunities in this game. They had five total. They scored on two of them. So it's 2 nothing at that point. Third period comes along. The Flyers have two power plays. Two! In that period. Back to back. At one point there was like four seconds of an actual five on three. What do you know? We don't score on any of them. We don't score on any of them. I mean, Jake Voracek did hit the crossbar, but guess what? They, they also hit the crossbar once on Brian Elliott coming down the left wall. It got a little chippy at the end. Oh, the Flyers are playing big, big, bad, and tough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? It did all start because of Scott Lawton, who, you know, used to be a little bit goony, but he's kind of changing his role, if you will, was coming up the wall on a defender. He ends up getting rocked. It actually was, now that I'm thinking about it, Camphor. And as he makes the hit, he just drops his glove and starts pumping into Scott Lawton. And that kind of started the, the aggression between the two teams. Then after every whistle, there were stoppages and, and people going at it. I mean, this game was just a mess. It was bad. We got shut out. We can't get anything going. The good old classic, we can't score on our opportunities. The good old classic, our penalty kill is by far the ugliest thing I've ever watched. The power play not getting going. Oh, this game was just bad. Just bad. And now the, the fire hack stall discussions come out. How many years are we going to give him? This isn't working. By far, this is realistically the worst one I, I see out of him when it comes to the jump of this team. And people want to criticize the Claude Giroux. People want to attack the captain. That's the first thing they look at. I wouldn't say the first thing they look at, but that's one of the big targets. Claude's not a real leader. Uh, dude. Dude. The last person who should be blamed for anything going on is Claude Giroux. My man just put up 100 plus points and you look at his point production throughout the last... Uh, 10 years in this league. Who else would be the captain of this team? You have McDonald, who is one of our A's, right? H how about him turning the puck over? Big costly one on, on that Chara first goal. Now, I forgot to mention it. They actually score an empty netter late in this game. Chara just sends it down the ice, so it finishes 3 nothing. But uh, ugh, that was hideous. I don't even know what to think anymore. I don't know what we're going to get out of a Flyers team. They're so inconsistent. 
They're bad. Their penalty kill is horrible. They can't stay out of the box. They're not disciplined. There are too many men on the ice calls. That's a lack of focus. Their head coach is all over the place. Uh, they're getting injured. I didn't think Brian Elliott had a bad game today. But what are you going to do when you score zero goals? Zero. It's disturbing. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you next time.